I have new pieces to show you guys. I went to a sample school yesterday, which was freaking insane, y'all. Like, it was honestly the best sample sale like I feel like I've ever been to in New York. It consisted of brands like Alix, Margiela, Balenciaga, Junior Watanabe. Um, also, it was this brand here. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Amy Leon Dor. But anyway, I like their basics. I feel like they had really, really nice basics. They had, they did have like another shirt like this, but it had like Amy Leon. Y'all know how I am about really like wearing brands and shit like that. But it's funny that I say that because I'm about to get into a piece that just has a whole ass university on the front of it. Love too that you can see like the little stitch where the tag is. I think that is like a really nice little detail. Kind of reminds me of like Margiela with like the little stitches there. It also has like a leedy beady, eedy weedy beady beady weedy little pocket. And Connor isn't here, y'all. So I'm actually going to pop this on really quick so y'all can see what it looks like. So this is what it's giving. I will say this one actually looked a little bit better on Connor because it fit his neck a little bit better. But this is what it looked like. It's just a really basic um, little crew neck shirt, sweatshirt type of a thing. And I love this shirt too because it's all about the details. Again, with the mock neck and also this little rib detail in here too on the sleeve. I really like little shirts like this for Connor and also he loves shirts like this. So, works out. So this is the next little t-shirt that I got, y'all. It is just a New Balance X Engineer Garments collab, which I didn't even know they ever collabed, but I thought this was a really, really nice, again, little basic t-shirt that Connor can wear in the fall. It's black, I love black. And uh, yeah, it fits him very, very well. It fits me very, very well, actually. Honey, put you on a little hoop and be good. All right, y'all. So this is actually the last piece that I got from the sample sale. And it is a Junior Watanabe like crew neck sweater that he made, I guess, to pay homage to UCLA. Um, I didn't go to UCLA. I did not graduate from college. But for some reason, this piece just really spoke to me. I just thought it was really, really cool. And it's really funny because I was actually looking at this piece or it was like advertised on my like Instagram or something like that. And it was like $200 and I'm like, hell no. Nah. But this one was literally like half off of $200. So I was like, I think I'll snag it because I feel like it's a really, really nice piece for the fall. I actually wore it last night with like a really dark lip and I thought it was just like really, really cute. Kind of did try this piece on because I did want, you know, kind of to wear it as well, but it just didn't do right with his, uh, with his skin tone. But yeah, it's just like a little crew neck and I like freaking love it. And this is actually a size medium, y'all. And I thought it would be like, really oversized on me but it's just like the right amount of oversizedness which i really really love and it kind of feels like weird i don't know it kind of feels like rubber it's it's a weird texture i will say but looking at it it just looks like a terry cloth looking like sweater um but it does have some texture to it which i really really love but yeah i love like the the unfinished little edge on the sleeves i think that's a really really cool little detail and again just a really nice piece that i feel like i can bring out like every fall or when i'm like running errands and you know look cool my first sip of coffee for the day y'all just got done putting my laundry in the dryer i suppose the ben told y'all about these but here we are i have been using these true earth um little like detergent strips for our laundry and i feel like the past couple times i've used them they've been fine you know they don't have any type of a smell which that kind of was like a little bit off-putting to me because i am used to my clothes having like a smell to them let's put our clothes in the dryer and these two shirts in particular, y'all, it ain't no secret. I get musty sometimes, it ain't no secret. And these two smell a little musty. I don't know if it's because of how I put the clothes in there or whatever, what I did wrong. But for this time, I was just like, something smells a little bit funky. So I was like pulling out each piece and I'm like smelling it, smelling it, smelling it. And you would think it would be Connor, but no, it was me. So I had to take those two pieces out and now I'm about to hand wash them here, which is why I'm at them in my kitchen, at my sink. Oh, for heavily soiled laundry, use two strips, um, small load, half of a strip. 
So maybe if I would have used two strips per load, I wouldn't have had that smell. Cause like I said, I haven't had any problem with these until today. So that actually makes a whole lot of sense, True Earth. So I'm sorry, I should have read the directions first before I got on here talking. But nonetheless, I would recommend these guys to even try. I mean, we should all be trying to better the earth step by step. And this is a really good way to do that. I want to put on a little bit of makeup because I just feel like I want to put on a little bit of makeup today. And I also want to show you guys what do I do for my face to get my no makeup makeup black. I feel like I did this video before, but I was talking too damn much and that shit looked a mess. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody like came at me like, y'all be nice because I would be like, girl, that shit look a mess. But um, yeah, I'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup. Now, if you see some shit unblended, don't worry. When I get outside of this camera, I'm gonna blend it. But this is what I like to do, y'all. I like to take my little brush that I got from actually the beauty supply store and I like to use my Makeup Forever HD. Now this foundation is actually my winter tone. <sighs> I just found out not too long ago that <laughs> I should start buying like winter foundation and like summer foundation. And this is my winter foundation, but I still like it because I feel like my body is dark, so it works. And also my concealer is a little bit lighter, so again, it works. But yeah, this is all I do. Just put my little brush in there and I just go under my eyes and around my nose with my brush. And then sometimes I like to go in with my finger, depending whatever type of mood I am in, um, or I just use my little beauty blender. But um, yeah, I just basically like to blend that out. And the reason why I like will only put like a little bit down here is because again, I want my imperfections to shine through because then it look like you ain't wearing nothing. You know, you just glowing and shit and people feel like, damn, my skin look blue, blue, blue. Which I mean, good skin is like the foundation for, I, I guess, like good makeup. So I do have, <sighs> I've been taking care of my skin. So I feel like that's why my makeup looks better now. But yeah, that is all I do for foundation. Let me make sure this is blended correctly. So then go under my eye, where just like one little swoop under, just give me a little bit more coverage down the nose. All right, so your girl looks blended. And then for mascara, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like this mascara. It, I got it from Sephora and like their little birthday package thing and I chose this because the girl was like, oh yeah, I feel like you'll like this mascara. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna go with that one. Although I had the Fenty one, y'all, I was gonna buy that one, like the little sample size to see how that one is. Um, but then I got this one for free. So I'm like, I'm gonna put that one back, see how this one do, and then we gonna go from there. It's just, I don't know. It doesn't do what I want it to do. Like I like fullness with my lashes and this one I can feel like it just kind of just like the product just lays on my lashes so to speak like it doesn't really make my lashes look pow you know what I'm saying like I like my lashes to be like pow I know y'all like but you still using it girl but I like I kind of try to like finesse it because uh shit. I don't like wasting things so I'm like I'm gonna use her until look she she gone and then I'm gonna get another one. Okay, you gotta make it work. Hurry up with my damn croissants. Oh Connor just asked me, do I like his outfit, y'all? And I had to say straight up, no. Like, he wear this shirt to work, right? And it's a good work shirt, but come on now. You ain't going out with me looking like that? I'm just playing. He can wear whatever the hell he want to wear. That's on him. But you asked me. I don't think it's a it's a hit. What y'all think? I am wearing black toe Tim tank top. Y'all seen it before. And then my black pants that I just got from Toto Kayo. Y'all seen these already because I posted a little haul. And yeah, I have to get them taken in in the waist because obviously they're they're big. But it's giving you the vibe, honey. Let me let me walk let me walk towards y'all. Hold on. Okay, you gotta give a little nasty and a little chic. Hold on. Let me walk back so y'all can see it with the bag.
little chic, a little nasty. Keys. Give me a thumbs up. Do not forget to click the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on my next video.